name is Dr. Mitei, the president of INBA Taiwan, also president of INBA Global Asia. Uh, today I would like to share about how to train chess naturally. Uh, but before I share my training programs with you, I would like to, I, I, I just like to remind you that there are certain things uh, we have to know, especially young bodybuilders and the natural athletes. There are hundreds of videos and training programs, especially uploaded and they used by those uh, unnatural athletes. I mean, those athletes, those bodybuilders and fitness athletes who use uh, steroids and uh, drugs and uh, enhancing substances, which we natural bodybuilders and uh, beginners uh, mostly don't use. For me, not at all. But the problem is these young athletes think by following their programs, which they can see on YouTube and uh, other uh, media channels, they think they can look like they can build their bodies like them, like those who use uh, a lot of these uh, illegal and banned substances like steroids, hormones, and uh, many others. But the problem is, it is impossible to build like those uh, bodybuilders by being uh, natural. Uh, and uh, even for those who use steroids and uh, all those illegal step uh, substances, uh, those athletes cannot, possibly 99% of them cannot build like those uh, bodybuilders who are top 10 champion in the Olympia. So my point is, if you like to be a natural bodybuilder, if you like to be a natural uh, fitness athlete and you like to compete on the natural stages like uh, INBA, International National Bodybuilding Association, PNBA, Professional Bodybuilding Associations, uh, uh, natural stages like uh, Mr. World Cup, Mr. World, Natural Universe, and the Natural Olympia, a Night of the Champions, Battle Against Cancer, Philip Ricardo's Lesson, and there are other many international championships we have uh, for natural bodybuilders and natural athletes. If you like to compete on those stages and be a natural bodybuilder athlete, then I think you must follow those programs, those training programs, those diet programs, which are made by natural athletes and which are used by natural athletes. For example, like myself. So that is how uh, for the last more than 30 years I've been training uh, naturally and I've been eating natural foods. When I talk about natural food, natural diet doesn't mean we don't have to take this uh, protein, we don't have to take uh, this uh, BCAA, glutamine, creatine. These are actually uh, natural supplements which your body has. So when we train, we deplete these things we just use. So these are naturals. It doesn't mean by using, uh, by natural doesn't mean we don't have to take all these things. We just have to avoid those illegal or banned stuff by the International Olympic Committee or by WADA, World Anti-Doping Agency. If they ban some substances, then we should avoid those things. But this protein powder, this BCAA, glutamine, and uh, yeah, this natural minerals and uh, stuffs we have to take. We can take it. We can take them if you like. Yes, we can take. So, to be a natural bodybuilder, to be a natural athlete, you must also follow the ways or the training programs or the diets 
uh, which are used by natural athletes. So I am one of them. My name is Dr. Mitei. And uh, if you like to be one of these natural bodybuilders who can win, who can live happily, healthy, please follow those natural training programs and diets. Here we go, chest training. Before any workout, please make sure you do nice warm up and stressing for about say seven to 10 minutes. That will help you to recover quickly and also avoid injuries. You can pick up any kind of warm up exercise. For chest exercise, the first exercise I normally do is incline presses. Uh, I, I sometimes I do dumbbells, sometimes I do a barbell, sometimes I do a Smith machine. I normally do about four to five sets and the repetitions ranging uh, from six to ten and I do incline bench press first because it is upper chest is the most difficult area to put on muscle uh, it is good to do full range with dumbbell presses but make sure you don't bring down too much so that you hurt your shoulder joints and many people get hurt because of that my second exercise chest exercise item is flat bench presses with dumbbells or Smith machine or with free barbell presses I normally do with Smith machine when I train alone but if I have someone to spot me then I would do free barbell presses I do about four to five sets starting with 10 or 11 repetitions when the light when the weight is lighter but then I would go to six or seven repetitions with my heaviest weight but feel free to change uh, a little bit more or less sets and the rep as my third chest exercise I normally do machine press machine decline machine press or barbell presses uh, depending on how I feel uh, I do about four sets with increasing weight but in decreasing order means decreasing uh, when I do more repetitions that means the weight is a little bit light but when I do less repetitions that means the weight is very heavy so I begin with say 10 or 11 repetitions and finish by six or seven repetitions uh, but you can also try uh, dumbbell decline dumbbell presses especially if you have somebody to help you around because uh, dumbbell dumbbell decline dumbbell presses is really hard to do alone so you make sure you have somebody to spot you but barbell and the machine presses are quite easy to do alone that's why I mostly chose the next exercise, the fourth exercise for chest is uh, dumbbell flies. I mostly do about four or five sets. And uh, yes, uh, you can do incline or flat dumbbell flies, especially during the off season. But I prefer doing incline flies because uh, Yes, as I mentioned before, upper chest is the most typical area to put on muscle. So mostly I do incline dumbbell flies, but sometimes, of course, I do uh, flat dumbbell flies. And uh, do about 6 to 12 repetitions and go as heavy as you can. I finish my chest exercise with dumbbell pullover. I do about three, maximum four sets. 
and the repetition range is from 6 to 12 yeah 6 to 12 is good enough for off season and uh, make make sure when you do when you put down the dumbbell overhead make sure you keep your hips down and exhale the air so that uh, you can create that kind of vacuum empty stomach a empty looking vacuum and that's very important for natural athletes uh, to stand on the stage so pullover is very good and uh, yeah this is the last exercise I do for chest thank you very much for watching this video please do like subscribe and share see you at the next video for back thank you